Close your eyes and imagine the universe as a boundless cosmic playground with a vast tapestry filled with multiple celestial wonders beyond our thoughts. Imagine yourself as an astronaut standing outside this tapestry and looking at it. What can you envision beyond the edge of it? Well, your thoughts might be ambiguous yet to have a simplified answer, so let us answer. The Hubble Space Telescope has seen something helpful in adding information to today's hot question. In 2016, the Hubble Space Telescope focused on a black patch of darkness in space. It captured an image of a faraway cluster of light. This ball of light is the farthest galaxy, GNZ11, that we have ever observed till the 13.5 billion years of our universe's age. But but can we consider it the ultimate end? Is this the final edge of our universe? Answering this question is tricky because we have to rely on the speed of light and the universe's age to get somewhere close to an accurate answer. Although light travels really, really fast, it still requires time to reach from one place to another. Even if you see a person sitting at some distance from you, you're not seeing him in real time. In fact, the picture you are seeing actually existed three seconds before. Did you know that it takes more than eight minutes for light to reach us from the sun? A star 93 million miles away from us? This means we do not have a live view of the sun. Instead, what we see has already been passed eight minutes ago because it took light from the sun to travel to us in eight minutes. Isn't it mind twisting for you? Okay, let's say we somehow somehow get a very powerful telescope that enables us to see the galaxy GNZ11 from Earth. The picture that we will be able to see would be 13.4 billion years old. When we talk about the distance of stars from us, we use the term light years as it takes years for light to reach us from a huge distance. So imagine how many years it will take for the things from the edge of the universe or beyond it to reach us as it is at an unexplorable distance from us. We can't even count those years, and probably that's why we don't yet know what's beyond the edge of the universe. Researchers are also playing their role in discovering what's lurking beyond the edge of the universe. A report published this year by Nature says that the new James Webb Observatory had taken glimpsing images of six celestial objects. These six celestial objects were formed only 600 billion years after the Big Bang, which happened 13.8 billion years ago. These are the colossal galaxies that are almost impossible to exist after the creation of our universe, making this observation a mystery. Multiple existing models suggest these galaxies should have been at least 10 times smaller than their current size. Why? Because just 600 years after after the Big Bang, there wasn't enough matter to form such huge galaxies. There are two possibilities then. One is that either this research is not accurate, or second, if this research is considered accurate, then we will have to rethink all the existing theories related to space because this research challenges them. Or if we are not rethinking about the existing theories, then we have to believe that the age of the universe that astronomers have predicted is wrong, and the actual age of the universe is twice the age that we believe today. That will approximately be 26.7 billion years. One of the researchers from this research said, if even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. So this poses that there is a lot beyond the edge of the universe that we have yet to discover. But stop, do not consider this as the final answer of our question, because there is a lot more associated with it. 
If we believe that our universe is a finite ball having nothing outside, then even the word nothing gives a sense of an empty void that does not have any mathematical definition. Asking yourself what's outside the universe is pushing your mind beyond its capabilities and trying to get an answer to a question that does not have a valid response. It's just like asking why we call a chair a chair. The arbitrariness in the question of what lies beyond the universe is the same arbitrary relation between the objects and their names in any language of the world. You can't possibly give a reason. Still, because we are curious creatures who want to combine unrelated concepts to get an answer to the questions that lurk in our mind from day one of our creation, we'll try to have a look at some theories and concepts that might have an answer to what lies beyond our universe. Considering our universe as a finite ball with boundaries, it is possible to send a group of people on a long journey to explore the edge of the universe by sending them to a spaceship. Can they reach the edge? What do you think will happen when they do? Well, before you answer that, listen up to what Lawrence Krauss has to say about our universe. Well, the most likely possibility is that our universe will expand forever. Considering the theory of Lawrence Krauss, it becomes it impossible for a spaceship with astronomers on a mission to explore the edge of the universe as it will never reach a specific point. Imagine this. The spaceship is moving against something constantly expanding even faster than the speed of light. Of course, this makes it impossible to reach the end. On the other hand, considering the practical applications of this experiment, we'll take help from David Kipping's explanation. Consider this spaceship moves with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. It will make the astronomers feel normal Earth's gravity inside the spaceship, as the spaceship will push astronomers precisely as the Earth's gravitational force pulls humans walking on Earth. If the spaceship continues to move on at this speed, after an hour, it will be moving at 35,280 meters per second and will continue to increase. Assuming the ideal conditions with no hurdles in the path of this spaceship, within 45 days it will reach the speed of light. However, once the spaceship in our experimental imagination reaches the speed of light, another phenomenon will dig in. Relativity given by Einstein and summarized by his friend John Wheeler. The theory of relativity poses that the faster we move in space, the slower we progress in time. So in reality, this spaceship wouldn't be able to reach the speed of light in 45 days. Instead, even after 15 months, it would still only be 87% of the speed of light. So the faster this spaceship will try to move in space, the slower it will get, and it will be a journey of infinity that will never reach the end of the universe. Do you believe that if we can't reach the end, this might mean that there's nothing outside? To answer this question, there's a need to define. What actually is the universe? If we consider the universe as everything that can possibly exist in all of space and time, then we have already been confined within the word universe, so there can be nothing outside this entity. Even if we consider that the universe is of some massive yet finite size, still, anything that will be outside of this universe will also be called the universe, considering this definition. Definition. On going oppositely, if we say that the universe is infinite and is shapeless, formless, and nameless, then an infinitely big entity cannot have any edge. So that discussion will close up here. That's not the case. We can just assume it as a thought that the creator of the universe might not want us to go beyond certain limits, and we call the certain limits the observable universe. We cannot see the unseen in the universe 
universe until the light from the unobservable universe reaches us, and we have a vague idea that it's all pitch black outside the boundaries of the observable universe. Yet there is a riddle in all this. There is not a technical limitation or boundary. Instead, we as humans have limited exploration that we have not been able to enlighten those black areas beyond the universe yet. So, wrapping up all these theories and our experimental thoughts, it is obvious that there is an outside of our universe, which means that we live in an infinite place that keeps expanding, making it difficult to find its actual edge. What does your mind pose about what is beyond the edge of the universe? Let's share your exciting thoughts and beliefs to have probable answers to this question in the comments section below.